Here's our last fraction review basics video, so number four, and this is on multiplying and dividing fractions, which, believe it or not, many people think are actually the easiest or easier operations, easier than adding and subtracting them. So we'll start with multiplying. When we multiply fractions and mix numbers, here are the steps, so let's fill these in. First, we want to write everything as an improper fraction. We don't want to do the problem, we can't do the problem as mixed numbers. So just make sure everything's an improper fraction. And then we're going to do something called cross-canceling if that's possible. So I'm going to finish going through the steps so, you, so I have some room to write. Let's see what an example of cross-canceling would be. Let me just put this up as a quick example. Let's say I had 3 eighths and I was multiplying that by 4 ninths. In cross-canceling, you're going to look for anything on the top that will simplify or reduce with anything on the bottom. So, let me switch colors here. I noticed that this 3 could simplify with that 9, right? If I have 3 on top and 9 on the bottom, I could divide them both by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And I notice, let's change colors again, that the 4 and the 8 could be simplified. 4 goes into both of them. So if I divide by 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So I've reduced it. I've cross-canceled first before I even do the multiplication. That's what I mean by cross-canceling. Look for anything on the top that simplifies or reduces with anything on the bottom. Okay, and then your next step, once you do any cross-canceling that you found, multiply across the numerators, multiply across the denominators, and then if you did the cross-canceling, you shouldn't have to do that, but just double-check your answer and make sure you don't need to simplify. So, here's some examples. Let me change my pen. Okay, 1 and 2 sevenths. 2 sevenths, got to write that as an improper fraction first. So 1 times 7 is 7 plus 2. So 9 sevenths, and I'm going to be multiplying that by 2 and 2 thirds. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2, 8 thirds. Look for any cross-canceling. I notice that the 9 and the 3 can be reduced. 3 goes into both of them, so let's divide by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Cross-canceling is done, so I multiply across the top. 8 times 3 and 7 times 1. You can leave your answer like that or change it into a mixed number. So that would be what, 3 and 3 sevenths? Okay, how about the next one? 1 and 5 fourths and then 2 and 2 ninths. So turn it into an improper fraction, 4 plus 5 and 2 and 2 ninths. So that's going to be 18, 19, 20. See if there's anything to reduce, just so the numbers can be a little bit easier to work with. 9 and 9, right? 9 goes into both of those. 9 divided by 9 and 9 divided by 9. And then 4 and 20 can be simplified. 4 goes into both of them. So 20 divided by 4 is 5 and 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now I just have to multiply across the top. 1 times 5 and across the bottom 1 times 1. 5 over 1, and that's just equal to 5 wholes. So here's some practice with multiplying mixed numbers. Remember to change them into improper fractions first. Look to see if there's anything easy that you can cross-cancel so the numbers are a little bit smaller to work with. And then multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and double-check your answer. Pause it now, and then we'll come back and check. So here are your answers. Check and see if you got those right. Again, I can write it as an improper fraction or convert that to a mixed number. Either one is okay with me. Just make sure the directions don't tell you that it has to be one way or the other. All right, and then on to dividing fractions and mixed numbers. So dividing fractions involve something called reciprocals. So what is a reciprocal? A reciprocal is basically taking your fraction and flipping it upside down. So the reciprocal of two-thirds would be three-halves. The reciprocal of one and two-thirds, well, I've got to write it as an improper fraction first. I can't take the reciprocal of a mixed number. So let's change one and two-thirds. That would be, what, three plus two, five-thirds. And then I can take the reciprocal and flip it. It would be three-fifths. 
And how about the reciprocal of 5? Well, if you remember, 5 written as a fraction, I could write it as 5 over 1. And the reciprocal of that would be 1 fifth. So we're going to use reciprocals anytime we have a, a problem with dividing fractions. So what are those steps? First, write everything as an improper fraction. Once again, we don't want to do or can't do the problem with mixed numbers. So make sure everything is as a fraction first. Then rewrite the problem. We're going to change it. Instead of a division problem, It's going. we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we're going to change it to multiplication and then the reciprocal of the second fraction. Then it's just a multiplication problem. So cross cancel if you can, multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and then just double check your answer, see if there's anything that you missed or need to simplify still. So here's some examples. If I have 1 and 2 sevenths divided by 2 and 2 thirds, got to get them as improper fractions first. So multiply 7 plus 2, 9 sevenths. And this would be 6 plus 2, 8 thirds. But I'm going to rewrite it as a multiplication problem, multiply by the reciprocal. First fraction stays the same, change it to multiplication, and then I write this guy as the reciprocal. Then look for anything to cross cancel. Nope. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. And then simplify it if you can. Looks like we're good there. So that's our answer. Okay, next one. 1 and 5 fourths. So let's rewrite that as an improper fraction. So 4 plus 5, 9 fourths. And 2 and 2 thirds. 6 plus 2, 8 thirds. And if I divide those, I'm going to rewrite it as a multiplication problem. Keep the first one the same and flip so that I have the reciprocal of the second fraction, so 3 eighths. Check and see if there's anything to simplify. There's not, no cross canceling. So just multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and then check to see if we can simplify it. We should be good. So here is your practice with dividing mixed numbers. Remember to change them to improper fractions then uh, rewrite it as multiplying by the reciprocal. See if there's anything to cross cancel and then do the multiplication problem. So pause, try these, and then we'll check. So here's the answers I got for these uh, division problems. Check them. Let me know if you have any questions. We're going to have a quiz over adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions all combined. And we'll do more practice in class, but let me know what I can help you with.